Hey guys, DungeJ here. Today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a review of Chromiecraft. Now this is going to be an ongoing review because, of course, this is a progressive realm that's slowly leaking out level caps, but I wanted to go ahead and present a, a kind of a formal review, at least in a three-step process. And in that three-step process, the things that we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the scripting being the number one thing, even though it's in beta, as they're saying, and this is their testing phase, I'm still going to go ahead and give you guys an overall impression of their scripting and where it's going. Uh, it, now that is also based off of a three point scale as well. I thought that in the end, uh, going ahead and doing the, uh, the review based off of a three point scale was the best way to approach it, with one being below average, two being average, and three being above average. I've never seen a private server perfect there is no private server ever that has perfect scripting. So there's never going to be a number four, which is a 10 of a 10. And there's never going to be one that's the bottom of the barrel because they're always taking from finished products and adding it in. So people that put into the GitHub have uh, already made it better than it would have been. So like I said before, you got below average, average, and then above average. And I think that's a good three point scale. Also, in addition to that, uh, another thing that we're going to be addressing is the community. So uh, that is a, another very vocal point. Uh, it really matters as far as what's in the community, who's in the community, how toxic it is. Because one thing that I know that none of us can stand is a toxic environment. So that's something that we're going to be talking about as well. The toxicity. Uh, is it a good community? And then finally, three, the idea behind the server and the approach. So this is uh, more or less looking at uh, the staffing. This is looking at the what they're trying to accomplish with that private server and is it good for that particular niche that is trying to fulfill. So those are the three point uh, spectrum that we're going to be looking at in as far as a review. That's going to be pretty much my reviews going forward with all private servers that I might present. And like again what I'm saying is that Chromiecraft will be an ongoing project because it's not finished yet but I have finished it enough to go ahead and give you guys the first preliminary review for that server and look forward in the future for more servers and reviews of this nature it's just uh, it's going to be a hit and a miss uh, the private server scene is so violent or volatile that for one moment a private server might last and then another moment it might just disappear and so i don't really want to invest time in private servers and try to do a review that's going to be uh, a fling uh, uh, something that's just going to be there for a few moments and then it's gone because it's not going to help anybody at the end of the day so these are going to be more or less reviews of more permanent servers inside our little community of private servers and also in addition to that i think it'll, it'll be good uh, to get it out there for you guys but anyway so the, since this is the first one i know i've kind of put a little bit of a big spill into it uh, but i wanted to go ahead and get the preliminaries out of the way remember if you like the style of content to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps out but with that being said let's go ahead and dive in All right, guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be actually addressing will be the community. I think that's the best way to start with Chromiecraft. And um, down below, I'm going to have a link as far as their Discord that you can join. Uh, there's a little step process as far as that goes, but that's going to really help you open up to as far as what that community is about. It's a very decent uh, Discord. The only thing that I really see missing from Chromiecraft as far as a community is a lot of community guides. Now, I know there's some resources that you can get out there. Uh, they're doing it in the tens. So right now it's between 40 to 49. The next one that's going to be released is 50 to 59, and that's going to be set for October 2nd. One of the things that I really liked about this is that you're able to twink out your character. And so one of the things that I really wanted to look forward to as far as the community is maybe more guides being out there or available. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some simple resources that you can look up. You can look up either the XP off forums to see if there's any some back guides for wrath twinking youtube videos as far as twinking but one of the things is if you're looking for that kind of information there's not a lot out there and so it really has to come from the community so one of the things that i found that's really pleasing about this even though we don't have guides as much as i'd like to see is that if, if you go onto their world chat you can ask some questions and sometimes you might get some misdirection. I would like to say that there's no toxicity, but every community has some. You're going to find 
a couple people that are toxic, but for the most part, if you have questions or you have concerns, you can ask your guild, you can uh, ask on world, and you will actually get some information and feedback, which is really cool. So as far as I'm concerned, the community here gets a thumbs up grade from me, and we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next section. All right, guys, so the next thing that I really want to talk about is I want to talk about their scripting. Okay, so with my three-point scale, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at average at the moment. I don't think this is an above-average server, but I don't think it's a below-average server. I think it's average. I think you're going to find some uh, questionable things that are going on that haven't been fixed or addressed as of yet and also you're going to see things that work quite pleasantly well you're going to get a good solid experience and that's the number one thing that I want to go ahead and express to you guys if you're going to play on the server you're going to get a good experience uh, you're going to get uh, a fulfilling experience and it's not going to be totally broken but there are going to be things that are questionable one of the things that are questionable is the amount of nodes as far as resources go there's going to be a, an abundance of those and also in addition to that they're going to be in mislocated areas now this is the one of the hardest things to fix on a private server core if they're using the Azeroth core I can understand that there's going to be some kind of uh, complications there because that's also the one that was based off of TrueWell TrueWell had the very similar node problem as far as their scripting goes it seems pretty solid uh, for the combat mechanics so far or the PvP aspect seems pretty solid. Most of their PvE seems pretty solid so far. And this is only based off of up to level 49. I'm not seeing a lot of wonky mechanics. I'm not seeing a lot of uh, weird AI or mob pathing. Some of the older private servers that we used to go to and play on, I remember back in the day, if you go into certain areas when you're first starting in that under 10, like the, the Jasper Load Mine or whatever that one is, the, the Jasper Mine, they had some uh, kobolds that would fire fireballs, geomancers, and man, just a couple smacks from those guys and you were dead. This is not that bad, but you can still notice that they still pack a wallop. And so one of the things that I'm curious of as far as the resist mechanics and as far as that being worked on, I don't know how perfect that is, at least in the lower levels. In the higher levels, everything seems to be working out a little bit better. Uh, a little bit more solid and I'm not so concerned about that so the final thing as far as I'm concerned as far as scripting goes I'm going to go ahead and give it an average rating but with uh, a caveat it is a little bit better than average alright guys and the third and final thing that we're going to be talking about is the vision of the server and this is really an interesting topic because as far as the community goes and what the, they're offering to the community, I really dig it, guys. I really dig it because they're giving back everything back to the GitHub. They're giving everything that they fix back out there to make a better version of a private server. So for this, I can't do anything but give them absolute kudos. I really enjoy that, but that might be a little bit biased since I am a person that covers the private server scene and I play on multitudes of private servers, but you guys may also fit into that boat. So I really give them a thumbs up for that. And as far as the developers, I am really uh, uh, pleasantly surprised with the uh, the amount of effort that they're putting in. And this is a non-profit. They, everything that uh, they are donated goes straight back into making the server better, making the community better. It's not going in their pockets. And I think this is a good thing. So as far as that goes, I give them really high rates. Also, in addition to that, they are actively working on the server which is another part of the aspect of, of what I'm talking about. So they're actively uh, trying to fix and develop it, which makes it really an excellent choice. And then on top of that, the vision is really clear. It's really cool. Uh, what you're getting to do is you're kind of getting the twink out as you progress on a Wrath Core uh, every 10 levels. Now they're going to be stopping at 60. All right, And then from there, it'd be like 61 to 69. And then they'd stop at 70. So you're going to get this continuation of twinking uh, that's going to be really fun to go all the way through with Wrath that gives you plenty of time to get multiple characters if you want leveled out, max leveled, and trying those out. I finished off my Paladin. I'm probably going to work on a Hunter next for this server. Uh, I'm going to try to do it before the September 2nd release. So that gives me a month to get uh, a Hunter up to level 49 plus still playing my other 
uh, Paladin, and we'll go from there, and I'll see that for the next review, because that's what's going to happen. It's basically, I'm going to be sitting here, and I'm going to try to review this as it progresses. This is a, a work in progress review, not like some of the other servers. Some of the other servers might be a, a one and done. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll be glad to answer them. But this is Dungeon J. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later. Hey guys, Dungeon J here. Today we're going to be talking about... Well, there's no reason. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. I'm just walking the line and there's nobody with me.